So we uh, had a, a session around uh, digital analytics, leveraging Microsoft Stack. So what uh, exactly is the perspective that uh, we came out here to share was that uh, when you look at digital marketing per se, uh, so there is a lot of uh, data that is available now through digital mediums like Google, Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo's ads and so on and so forth. Now when we really go deep into that data, there are two kinds out there. So there is qualitative and there is quantitative. While uh, a lot of uh, work has happened around the uh, quantitative part of it, numbers, you know, web social media analytics, uh, there is still uh, a lot that can be done on the qualitative part of it, which is about emotions, sentiments, faces, images, how do you really, you know, make sense out of that data. Uh, so that's the main focus. Uh, the technology stack, which is the Microsoft stack, which is one of the uh, maturing platforms, in fact, quite mature already, uh, which can be leveraged very well to really take uh, you know data out of uh, the qualitative part of it. So we talked uh, around that along with a very small uh, proof of concept to demonstrate exactly how it works. So uh, if you look at the people, uh, freshers out of college, then there are fairly junior people uh, in the market who have spent a couple of years. Uh, then there are project managers. Uh, then there are business leaders. Uh, and many are looking at analytics uh, from a career perspective if they want to change over and, and even to leverage that knowledge within their own organization. So there are different kind of people that we are trying to deal with here. Uh, but there is one constant. Uh, when you look at uh, analytics is that it is more business focused than it is IT focused. Uh, so that's a fundamental uh, shift and a lot, a lot of people who come with mainframe experience and we want to shift into analytics. Uh, the idea there is to attach yourself to a particular domain. Right? Uh, so if you are a banking expert, if you are insurance or a healthcare, if you are a retail expert or you worked on projects related to that, leverage that knowledge and then see how you can apply analytics in that uh, area and then how to improvise it. So that, that way the credibility of the profile will be significantly better because you can show that you are an expert in this area and by the way I also know how to apply analytics in that space. So I think that would be the uh, starting point. And from an analytics perspective there are broadly three areas that you need to look at. Uh, one is all the analytical techniques. Uh, that most of the courses uh, cover uh, in terms of regression, classification, clustering, visualization, for instance. Uh, the second part of it is the technology uh, because we can learn analytics uh, using some software, but really when you go into real production customer engagement, there is many, many software and what you want to avoid is the confusion on which software to use. I think that should be driven. So you need to have a fair understanding on which technology works and what purpose and tie it back to the business area. So that's the second thing. Third thing is the data strategy itself. Uh, in terms of uh, if they want to know how data is stored, what formats, how to deal with it, is it small, is it big. Uh, so there are three aspects of this analytics knowledge. If they have that, then again their career would be uh, much better because that, that will give them a well-rounded uh, you know, focus on how to approach an analytics project. So that would be the kind of skill set that will make them market ready. So the first thing I think Karthik mentioned was that when you look at analytics, it has to be business focused, you know. Uh, so it has to be a business domain problem solving that actually you try to go out and solve. So the way the uh, Great Lakes Babi program has been designed is to keep that focus primary. I mean, I think that's a very good uh, focus to bring it out that okay we look at from a business uh, aspect and then look behind what is the tools techniques and technology so it gives you the breadth at the same time it gives you an introduction to certain domains like web social media marketing analytics financial analytics so and so forth so I guess uh, there is a good value addition uh, from that perspective the second thing is uh, the attend uh, the participants who actually come in and participate I think you have a a very good opportunity to really have a good networking done with the people that are around there. There is a lot of classroom learning and um, like our case, we met in the course and uh, now we have our startup, we are focusing on delivering on that. So uh, I think uh, at the community uh, that is getting developed, uh, there is a lot of networking and uh, knowledge sharing that happens in that phase of your uh, you know, program. So I think these two are good strengths uh, from the program. 
Uh, yeah, I, I think I will resonate on those uh, same points as well. In terms of there is something for the marketing firm, uh, folks, there is something for the finance folks, there is something for uh, manufacturing uh, folks and things like that. Um, I think that, that definitely gives a good perspective of how to apply analytics, business analytics in different uh, contexts and then drive it down into the technology solution of it. Uh, the second thing which I also found positive was the uh, ability to get the feedback and constantly look at uh, you know, evolving uh, some of the course content itself. I think that flexibility is uh, important for a course to be successful on a long term uh, because we come with some perceptions and you know you will see there are certain things that are meeting your expectation and some are not meeting and you have a varied set of people right right from very junior people all the way to senior people i think trying to manage all the expectation and try to still give a credible uh, program and while you are constantly looking at uh, improvising i think that's an important uh, you know characteristics i would i would say that uh, you know you should take it forward uh, because definitely we saw you know professors hearing out from us from a feedback and see how exactly we can fit into that. So first time on Cypher uh, for us uh, this year and uh, a pretty uh, big platform, uh, uh, I think a three day sessions with three panel tracks, um, it's pretty comprehensive, um, uh, happy to uh, participate and share what we are doing. And um, I think uh, the uh, other talks which we will sit throughout the day now and hopefully tomorrow are also equally engaging. Uh, so a lot of dimensions to the world of analytics, it's pretty big, evolving very fast. Uh, I think such a platform helps us to get what's happening today. And um, so I think I have a very good uh, feel about the uh, Cypher event and uh, happy to contribute also. Yeah, so I, I think we have a lot of uh, speakers and a lot of uh, industry practitioners. So, I think the best impact is from people who have actually done it and then talking about their experience. Uh, and, and I'm sure people talk about good and bad experiences. You know? And bad experience is actually the real experience, what you want to avoid in uh, future. Uh, I think that's what we are also looking for, right? What are the success stories? What are the failure stories? Equally important. And how do we make sense out of it? And how do we ensure that we don't repeat the same scenarios with uh, our own clients? I think. It's an excellent platform for us to uh, engage and network uh, with people. I think we should definitely continue this.